Okay folks, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of this quarter screen problem on your iOS 5.01 iPhone 4. Um, if you've searched around trying to figure out how to get rid of it and they tell you that you need to use SB settings but you can't load SB settings because you didn't have it on the phone before you had this problem then you have another problem. So here is the, the workaround for that problem. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download to your PC this program, iFunbox. You can get it here at iFunbox.com and it's completely free. This program manages your iPhone without iTunes. A very handy program. You can load uh, Cydia apps from here. and This is the point of getting this because you're going to next go to this website. I'll give you the link below. You're going to be able to install the SB settings that you couldn't install through Cydia because you can't touch the proper places on your screen because it's one quarter size. So you're going to want to download. I downloaded it from Mediafire. And then lastly, you're going to want to go to this website, um, follow the link below, and you're going to install Respring Icon. This is just a simple program that resprings your springboard or, as you can see here, puts you into safe mode. And it's the only program I could find that would allow you to go into safe mode so you can get that quarter screen off of there. Um, so go ahead and download the DEB file um, for respring icon as well. And then the final step here is to load them into iFunbox. I'll show you how to do that in the next step. Okay, so for the final step, you've downloaded your iFunbox. You want to go ahead and install that and run iFunbox. Go ahead and connect your iPhone. The program will recognize your phone and bring up all your information onto your program here. Then you want to locate the files that you downloaded. The SB Settings 5.0B for the iOS 5.0 and your Respring Icon 1.2-1. You want to just take these files, go right here into Cydia App Install in your iPhone box, and all you have to do is drag both of these files into that box. You can copy and paste them or drag and drop. The files are already on your phone. All you have to do is reboot your phone, and as you will see, they will be installed on your springboard. So the final step here is you're going to go ahead and run Respring from the Respring icon. If it doesn't load the first time, reboot your device a couple times with the Red Snow or whatever you use to reboot Tethered, and then run Respring. Um, you're, you're going to get this pop-up. It only stays on your screen for about five seconds, and you're going to want to just go ahead and tap Safe Mode. Um, that's going to bring you back to being able to access the rest of your uh, phone so you're not stuck in that quarter page mode and you're going to be able to go ahead then and activate your SB settings you're going to want to go to general settings they're not general settings you're, you're going to want to go to settings and then notifications and then you're going to want to add SB settings to your notification center and then you're going to be able to access SB settings in the future um, this should eliminate your safe mode problems after you respring um, with uh, SP settings and enjoy your phone again.